Lexi here, and I'm going to be talking to you about my global learning project and the stuff that makes me me. So I'm going to start off by talking about my culture and about my family and things that really matter to me. So my biggest thing about my family is that they've always been there for me, no matter what. We went through a ton of family things, terrible situations, things have tried to just tear us down, and we're still standing, and we're still stronger than ever. My parents recently got divorced, so that was like a big, big uh, jump for me. Um, the differences in them both trying to teach us about different things and what's right and wrong have just started to show. Growing up, my dad was very religious, my mom was not so, so that's why she gave us a choice if we wanted to go to church and to follow religious things or if we didn't. Now that did cause controversy back then with my parents, but now I can really see that it was just them trying to put their own thoughts into their parenting and their own morals into the whole, raising us. So I am live with my parents in Livonia, Michigan. My dad lives like five minutes away from me, so it's not that bad of a difference. Um, I went to Livonia High School and I played basketball and I cheered and did pop. So having those sports on my back really gave me um, the right steer in the right direction towards like what's good, what's right when going through like high school and when there's all the different things trying to knock you down and the bad roads you could go on. Um, being from Livonia, it's not the best town, so there is a lot of people who are up to no good, and my parents did really well keeping me away from that and giving me the choice to do it on my own. Um, going back to like the religion thing, I do wish that I was raised more on a religious route. I still was able to participate in religious like activities with my friends, whether it be going to church for a memorial for one of their grandparents or just going on a Sunday morning after a sleepover or something. So I was really able to get a peek into like Christianity and um, Catholicism and all that. So next I'm going to talk about um, what group I'm going to do for the cultural learning project. And I'm going to be working with the Chaos Dance Crew, or company, sorry. And um, I researched the company before I decided when, she, um, when the list was posted. And I saw that it was mostly made up of African-American women and how they bring their culture into their dance and their heart into it and why they care so much about it. And I thought that was really cool because... I danced as a kid, but only in like ballet and stuff and got to kind of strayed away from that. And then with Palm and Cheer, it was kind of just a mixture of kind of dances, nothing really that was meaningful. So I think it'd be really cool to go to one of their practices and see what they really do to make it each dance more meaningful and heartfelt and bring audiences in and just tell a story with their dances. So... I think that'd be really cool. Um, that's why I chose this group. I like dancing and I thought we'd have like a good connection when we meet and right off the bat it wouldn't be too awkward. Um, this group is culturally different from me because they use their culture, not just like African culture, but just their friend group and their, their social culture to do dances and whatnot. So I'm hoping to go to a practice and maybe go to a show or a performance that they put on too just so I can get the personal side at the at the practice and see what they really like to show others not behind the scenes at the um, show. So yeah I am really excited for this project. I hope it goes well and thank you for watching this. Bye.